tonight, Jiu Jitsu lovers, I'm just going to go over two fundamental passes from the closed guard. So, my partner has the closed guard when his feet are locked together. Really important to have good posture here so he doesn't pull me down. He pulls his knees to his chest and pulls me down, it means my posture is no good. Hips tilted up, back like a rocking chair. Elbows inside the thighs, not outside, like this. Collect up a little bit of his pants and a little bit of his lapels, okay? So now I'm connected. If he goes to sit up now, I've got a frame to stop him from sitting up. I wiggle my knees back and adopt that posture again. Now his hips are on the ground, I'm even safer. I'm gonna keep pushing back until I break those feet at the back. That's the weak point of the closed guard. I'm then gonna lift my knee up, connect my knee to my elbow, and this is combat base. Okay, now he can't pull that guard. I wanna be super low, so he can't get in any Delahivas or hook guards as well. First pass, this side. I'm gonna switch my knee, staple his thigh. Once I got the stapled thigh, I'm gonna take the underhook, back of the elbow. Now I can kick out, come to scarf, or collect the arm, and come to side control. Okay, you have a bunch of options there for that knee slice pass, okay? That knee slice pass is a jab of your passes. You've gotta get good at it, okay? Now we're just gonna quickly learn how to go to the other side as well, off the same combat base. So again, rocking chair, Get your grips, elbows inside the thighs, walk your legs back, get his hips on the ground. Adjust your posture, and work to break those legs. Combat base, knee and elbow locked together. Inside or outside, they'll both work. Okay, now, staple again. Now I've got him stapled. I can slide up his lapel, and I want to take this here. Even if he has an underhook, I can still get this pass by winning the lower underhook. Okay, lowest underhook wins. And then slide up so I can get my shoulder on his face, back step out. Now, I release the pass to the hip throw. Allows me to re pummel the underhook and come back in the side control. There's two really good fundamental passes from the closed guard. Please, whenever you're inside someone's closed guard, that posture is really gonna help you stop being broken down um, too easily. There we go, close guard, enjoy.